Hi, I'm Ruben Gonzalez. Why do I go to Cuba? The first time I went to Cuba was in 2013. My interest in Cuba started as a child. Growing up in Cocoa, Florida, the U.S. space program was a big part of our lives. During the Cuba Missile Crisis of the 1960s, at school, we had a safety drill. We had to get under our desks in case of a missile attack. The island of Cuba is very intriguing. A chance to travel to Cuba, I was all in. Brad Shea, a member of Suntree Cuba Committee, invited me to a meeting. I joined. In order to travel to Cuba, you need permission from the Cuban bishop, a Cuban religious visa, and a U.S. passport. We were required to attend classes to learn the rules of traveling to Cuba. We landed at the Holguin Airport, and after going through the Cuban customs, we were allowed in Cuba. We found our luggage. Once outside, we were greeted by a jubilant crowd, El Redento Church. While in Cuba, we stayed at a Russian-built hotel, La Pernique, which means the rose. Later, we went to El Redento, our sister church in Holguin. El Redento, our sister church, and Sun Tree are part of the Florida-Cuba Methodist Church Covenant. Cubans are very friendly, happy, and loving. El Redento has long been the community refuge for help in Hogin, a light in the darkness. During the revolution, Castro's army surrounded El Redento to occupy the church. The women of El Redento would not leave and the soldiers could not make them leave. God was with his people. Their faith is on fire. That's the reason I continue to go to Cuba. This trip to Cuba will be my tenth. The wages in Cuba are very low, around $20 a month. And most of the time, there is no food or gas to buy. So sad. Pastor Julio took me to a government grocery store. There was very little food, only powdered milk, canned food, some pastries and soda, no eggs or meat. We went downtown to the pharmacy, the same, no aspirin, no over-the-counter medicines, no prescriptions, only herbal ingredients to make a poultice, a little bag of herbs to put in hot water and breathe the fumes. Whatever the Cuban people have, they share. Their love is on fire. On Sunday and Wednesday, El Redentor is full of people and they are standing outside. When singing, they start dancing, jumping, raising their hands and praising God with all their might. Worship and preaching goes on for hours. That's why I go to Cuba. That's why I give my time, my money and my prayers for Cuba. With your help, your prayers, and your money, the Cuba Committee can buy more food and medicine. Join us for the Cuba Mission Dinner on September 27th at 6 p.m. in the Worship Center. You can purchase tickets all month long after worship from members of the Cuba Missions team or online at suntreeumc.org backslash events. Tickets are $25 and include a delicious Cuban dinner and desserts. If you can't make it to the dinner, but would like to make a gift to the work of our Cuba mission team, you can use the mission boxes in both worship areas or give online at suntreeumc.org backslash give. Support the Cuban church. Their faith is on fire.